Once things started warming up this morning, it turned out to be a pretty nice day. We dropped to 20 degrees officially in Lincoln. The afternoon temperatures reached 63, so a 43 degree spread so far. And down towards Beatrice, things are looking pretty nice this afternoon. Again, just a couple of high thin cirrus clouds. That's about it. Lots of sunshine around the area. Take a live look now from Honda of Lincoln looking to the southwest. And again, a couple of these clouds are passing overhead. Once we get past sunset, we will then notice the clouds disappearing pretty quickly and we'll have clear skies. 63 degrees, the high of the day so far in Lincoln. It's 61 in Firth, 62 degrees in Branch Oak Lake. It's 62 for you in Seward, 61 in Milford and 62 degrees in Friend. Uh, 63 right now in Hebron, 64 in Aurora, 64 in Grand Island and 64 degrees in Kearney where temperatures are running about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday, just a little warmer in the Lincoln area. Hey, I want to remind you to, uh, tomorrow night, if you want to learn more about storms and thunders or and tornadoes, we can use your help in the weather community. Become a storm spotter uh, in Phelps County at Holdridge at 630 at the Pel uh, Phelps County Courthouse. You can go to attend a storm spotter class that will be taught by the National Weather Service. Uh, they'll be there with a meteorologist. They usually last about 90 minutes to upwards of two hours, and they are free to attend. I'd say anybody from uh, probably junior high age and up, a great activity to go attend and, and learn more about thunderstorms. And again, we can use your help in the community. Eyeballs are always better than radar when we're spotting storms. For tonight, we'll see temperatures cooling off not terribly quickly. 57 degrees by 8, still holding on to 50 by 10. Overnight lows will only be dropping off in the mid 30s. So it's, we're talking seasonably temp warm temperatures. Our normal lows are sitting right now in the upper 20s, so a few degrees above that. For tomorrow, we'll start the day with sunny skies. As we go through the day, clouds will start to increase from the west. Temperatures by noon. In the, to the low 60s. Now you'll notice the clouds quickly increasing by late afternoon and that'll turn for some of you skies overcast. We should be able to get temperatures up into the upper 60s to low 70s. That is ahead of a cold front tomorrow. Uh, once the front passes, your winds will shift around to the north. Sustained winds 6 to 12 miles per hour. Some gusts at times to 35 miles per hour. 73 for high in Lincoln, 72 in Beatrice, 73 in Fairbury and Hebron. I think we'll be up in the upper 60s to near 70 out towards Grand Island and at 70 degrees in Hastings. I want to remind you this evening we've got a red flag warning that's in effect until 8 o'clock this evening for the counties shaded here in this reddish pink color. Uh, conditions are not great. It's still relatively dry. We've got the gusty winds and low relative humidity because the temperatures warm so much. Now as we go through the day tomorrow, that threat shifts a little bit more to the east. A low end threat as we go through portions of Lancaster County and Gage County as we go through the early afternoon between about noon and three, four o'clock. So not a great idea to be doing any burning outside tomorrow. Now there is some a chance for some rain coming our way just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Now you'll notice on Stormcast developing some showers early Thursday morning and more so as we go through the day on Thursday. We're talking along and south of I-80 for the best chance for seeing some of that rain and perhaps some of the heavier rains will be down into the southeast corner of the state. By Friday morning, it's not the question we could have a few snow flurries around the area because temperatures will be cooling and the moisture may linger around just a little bit. Heaviest rains again off to the south and east where Fall City you could see upwards of a half inch of rain. Seven day forecast 54 degrees on Thursday, so turning cooler for St. Patrick's Day. 54 degrees as well by Friday. This weekend looks pretty nice right now. 66 Saturday, low 70s on Sunday. By the way, spring begins at 1033 local time. Set your watches and then a chance for some scattered showers for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.